and welcome to Down to Earth. Our question this week is one that we hear a lot, especially this time of year, and it's about bubblers and sprinkler heads around your young trees. When trees are installed, many times if you have an irrigation system, there will be bubblers or sprinkler heads placed very close to the trunk, and that's great when you're trying to establish your young tree. But then when the tree does get older, the roots do go do grow out away from the trunk, and so those sprinkler heads and bubblers need to be moved back away from the trunk out to the drip line. So do remember to do that. Or better yet, remove them and hand water your trees. That's a great way to water them. Be careful not to overwater your trees in heavy clay. I know we're trying to establish our trees and get them started, but you still do need to be very careful that you don't give them too much water. You do need to also check newly planted trees to see if they've been planted too deeply. Many of them are, so need to check for that. Pull back the soil and the mulch if it's mounted too closely to the trunk and check to see that there's no trunk below the soil surface and clear that out if you can. Water only a couple of times a week on newly planted trees and only once a week or so if those trees were planted last fall. You do need to water those trees more if it's extremely hot and dry this summer. If the trees are three years or more old, then you do need to water them less. Every other week to once a month is all. Or maybe not at all, even once they're older than three years old. This goes even more for native and well-adapted trees, or, and less so for non-natives. Water those trees more. Our plant this week is chocolate flower, Berlandera lirata. This is a very nice chocolate-scented plant. The flowers are very fragrant. Those flowers open in the early morning, and that's when they have their strongest fragrance. These plants are great along a border and planted in masses. When you brush by them when walking by, they have a wonderful fragrance. They do attract butterflies. They're native to the southwest, and they're very drought tolerant and low water use plants. But a little bit of extra water once a week or so will encourage growth and flowering. These plants love the full sun. They also like light shade. They're a small creeping plant that grows in clumps and fills in as a ground cover would. They grow very quickly to about 12 to 18 inches tall by about two feet wide. The flowers only last a day or so and it drops the petals in the heat, but it does form a lot of seed heads that will reseed the plant, but it's not invasive, which is great. This plant is easily started from seed in the early spring after the last frost. It's easy to find seeds of this plant. It has beautiful greenish gray fiddle shaped foliage and it looks great with purple flowering plants. It's usually evergreen but it can get lanky and look unkempt when it gets older. So shear it periodically to reinvigorate from the new growth. Mine's in a container and it looks great. Tolerates all kinds of soil types. To do in your garden this month, remember to be careful when using pesticides. Those also kill beneficials so use them as a last resort. We'd love to hear from you. Visit klru.org ctg to send us your question or plant of the week from your garden.